How do wealthy individuals approach saving money versus people who are poor? Well, if you are not wealthy in our financial freedom video, we are going to bring some insight to this particular question. So stay locked in. Hi, my name is Carson Graves, certified financial planner and president and CEO of the Retirement Education Center. And my name is Andrea Graves, Director of Operations at the Retirement Education Center. For additional concepts on how to maximize your retirement, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. Carson, today we're diving into a topic that's often overlooked but holds the key to financial success, and that's investing habits. Yeah, and specifically what we're talking about today are the habits of the wealthy versus the investing habits of the poor. Now, I want to be very clear, Andrea, I'm not talking about people, you know, in the poor sense of not having any money. I'm certainly not trying to talk about people who are actually in poverty. But what I'm really are talking about are people with poor investment habits. So today, what I would like to highlight are the investment habits of the wealthy versus the investment habits of people who have a poor financial mindset. But before we get into that, there are always two rules to retirement income that we like to give you. And Andrew, what are those two rules? Well, rule number one is to never run out of money. And rule number two is to never forget rule number one. OK, so let's go ahead and jump into our lesson today and talk about the investment habits of the wealthy versus the investment habits of the poor. Well, Carson, let's start off with the wealthy investor. What are their investing habits? And when you're talking about wealthy investors, Andrea, you know, they have really mastered the art of accumulating wealth by, you know, unique strategic planning. Their unique characteristic is that they are going to prioritize long term growth over short term gains. And the reason why they're going to value long term growth over short term gains is that they understand some of the unique things that's going to come along when you're investing for the long term like one being compound interest. When you're talking about compound interest, if you are investing for the long term, the benefits that you can receive from compound interest is going to be far greater than trying to invest for a short term period of time. Another reason why they're going to value long term investing over short term gains is that they understand that when you invest longer, you're also going to reduce the risk of your overall portfolio. Long-term investors understand that by investing in the long term, you get an opportunity and have a better chance of riding out the downturns in the market and will start eventually benefiting from the growth of the market overall. And another major reason why wealthy investors will be investing for the long term is that they understand that from a tax perspective, it's going to be more efficient for them. When you're talking about investing for the short term, anytime you're pulling money out of the market very quickly, you can be subjected to ordinary income tax rates. But if you're investing for the long term over a year, you're now going to be exposing yourself to long term capital gains rates in which are going to be a lot more tax advantageous to that investor. Wealthy investors also understand the power of education and they absolutely seek out professional advice. They are not the do it yourselfers like more poor investors may be. They may have even multiple advisors to give them information about what they're seeking. So you're typically going to see wealthy investors in educational seminars to try to understand how to build wealth. All right, Carson. So can you now contrast how the habits of the poor investors differ from the habits of the wealthy? Yeah, because they absolutely differ greatly. Unfortunately, Andrea, people in this group struggle to break the cycle of financial instability you know, due to the common pitfalls of their investment approach. Poor investors are typically going to be reacting impulsively to market fluctuations. They're going to be making emotional decisions. And they also lack the financial literacy that is needed in order to stay in the market long enough to benefit from it. They are usually going to be playing the short game and they are not going to be disciplined with their money. They're going to make decisions based more on fear or greed versus that of knowledge. Another aspect of poor investors is that they always tend to fall in the trap of seeking the quick fits to everything. They're seeking the high risk and the high reward type of products, and they really fail to understand the full consequences of those particular products. 
or investors also overlook the importance of budgeting, saving their money, and investing for the future. Instead, poor investors are typically opting for instant gratification. They usually go by the old adage of get rich or go broke trying. All right, Carson, so what's the moral of this video? Well, the moral of this video is that investing is not just about money, but it's also about a mindset. If you are seeking financial freedom or you're trying to make sure that you secure your financial future, it might be important for you to study the habits of the wealthy so you can continue your path of financial success. Please note that these videos are created for educational purposes only and that you should always seek out your own financial advisor, your own tax advisor, and your own attorney regarding your personal situation. Also, if you are looking for an independent fiduciary advisor to help you with these types of complex financial matters, we highly recommend that you utilize the links in our description below and go ahead and schedule a one hour free consultation with us today. After this video, please check out our other videos that will give you tips on how to maximize your retirement. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you have questions, we have answers.